welcome back. I'm Jane. I'm in my corner of my sunroom by the back door. Today we're looking at dahlia tubers. I stored most of these in saran wrap. And these were free ones I got from a friend that I met on Facebook. Thank you if you're watching. So we're going to look into this tub. There's lots of dahlias to play with. I'm going to check on them and then some of them. The reason she gave me these was because she wasn't sure if they had viable eyes on them. So I'm going to pop them up today, see if we can get any eyes, any growth on the dahlia tubers. If we have growth, I can always do cuttings off of them too. So come on in. We're going to look in this tub over here that I have and we're going to see what our dahlia tubers look like. I figured out saran wrap method two seasons ago. It was a game changer. So we live in a really, really dry desert in Utah up by the mountains and all my dahlia tubers were shriveling. They were drying up and shriveling and I lost them all over the winter. And once I started wrapping them in saran wrap, come on in. Once I started wrapping my dahlias in saran wrap, it made all the difference. There was no more shriveled up mess. So let's look at this one. And the ones that I've wrapped like this are going to have labels. The ones that came from that friend that I met are not going to have any labels. So this one says, let's see. And yes, I did leave the dirt on, even though I kind of learned my lesson last year not to. I did not wrap them super tight, and I did not wrap them individually. So this one is Daydreamer. Last season, I didn't even get this to bloom, but look, it put on quite a bit of tubers. And I don't know if this one has an eye or not. But So there's one. Come on in. Audrey, if you can get this tub, I have four this size, so I've got one, two, three, four tubers from that friend. And look, the one that kind of had a little bit of opening, we have more shriveling. But the ones that I shut all together, or at least mostly, I did leave a little bit of an opening on all of them. Nope, just a little. They are doing better. So we'll take these and put them to the side for now. I'm going to wake these guys up. So I'll be right back. Look, I found a fifth bag from that friend I made. Thank you so much. So we're going to open these up in just a minute. Let's start with the ones I saved over winter from my collection. Come way in here. So some will be a little more exciting than others. This one says Ivan Eddy. And it only has one little tuber. One little tuber of Ivanetti. So I thought I was going to be able to see the eyes a little bit better. But they're not shriveled and dead. So that's good, right? Okay. This one's called Blackberry Ice. That one's pretty. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so these bags that my friend gave me... We're going to open these up. She wasn't quite sure if they even had viable eyes on them. This one doesn't look like it does. But what I'm going to do is I'm honestly going to go like this as close as I can. This one has like mold on it. I might not even keep that one. So some of them are not looking promising. This one though, I mean the neck isn't broken. Do we see any eyes at all on that? So the cool container that I got, see how cool this is? It's just biodegradable, um, like a newspaper or a cardboard. And I am just putting potting soil in it and waking up these tubers. So I'm gonna go through all of these and stack them kind of single-like. See if I have any rotting. Does this look like gall at all, guys, or does it look like eyes? That looks like gall a little bit. I don't know. I'm so new to this. All right. I'll be right back. I'm definitely a rule breaker. 
I do things by my own way. A lot of people say to put the clumps, to divide them and individually wrap, but I'm not very good at listening. <laughs> I'm gonna do my own thing. So this is Labyrinth. Oh, I had so much fun with this dahlia last year. Looking good. Look at all those, whoops, sorry. Firm tubers. I'm going to pot this up pretty soon. Probably not today. I'm really happy with these tubers. The majority of them look really great. So their turn will be soon. I'm going to pot them up within the next month. Look at this one. That looks really good. Some of them have labels, some of them don't. This one says Metro Star. Looks good. These are free tubers I got from a friend I made. They were just going to throw them away. So I might as well test and see if they have any eyes. Some of them might not work, some of them will. I'm going to give them a couple weeks. That giant one might not have anything. Anything that sprouts for me gets to be saved. Anything that doesn't, yeah, I mean, look at this thing. How do you know? <laughs> it doesn't even look like it has a neck. Do you guys see any eyes or do you think it's just a waste of time? Have you ever put a dahlia tuber in the ground or in some soil and it surprises you? That's what I'm doing. Free is free. I'll take free. This is prime real estate. If they don't sprout, they're out of here. Free is good. So I'm nice and dirty and I have several tubers that look great. Let me turn this around. So I have several tubers that are ready to be pre-sprouted. I don't know if they have viable eyes or not. I got one questionable one. You guys think that's gall? Kind of looks like gall. Darn it, that's sad. And then a handful of rotted stuff. And then I have one full container that I still have to go through and pot those up in about a couple weeks. I'm going to test these first. If they sprout, they're keepers. And my amaryllis bulb is knocking over. Thank you for watching. Come back and we will check on all of the ones that we potted up to see if there's any viable eyes on it. This is one of my favorites. It's called Colorado Classic. I'll put a picture on the screen. I love dahlias and I love growing them. I love learning about them. So in the comments, leave me any of your tips that you want to tell me about dahlias. See you later. Bye.